we shall see how soya bindi and kesari is made first of all you soak the soya for 2 hours and uh, with the addition of uh, green chilli you make it into a smooth paste in the mixer jar then in the pan you put oil and uh, heat it very well then you add the grind grinded paste to it then you add required quantity of salt and saffeted a to the mixer you cook it very well this uh, soya is uh, mainly available in china soya sauce and everything is available in the pan you put uh, oil for 1 tumbler 2 spoons of oil is required for 4 tumbler for 2 tumblers 4 uh, spoons of oil is one sputter the mustard seed in the oil heat it very well then you add the bindi or lady's finger to it and fry it very well till it gets cooked it is fried you add little salt and red chili powder to it after it is cooked it is mixed with soya paste that is cooked before and you will get the soya bindi or soya ladies finger porial actually uh, for in uh, tamil nadu they use cut sadam uh, like uh, tomato rice lemon rice coconut rice uh, brinjal rice like that there they don't use uh, this uh, protein rich uh, material uh, the body requires protein body is having full of a lot of cells many cells gets disintegrated so uh, you require protein rich food actually in porial also they use only coconut protein is not uh, of much quantity protein is available in uh, dals dals that is grams so in kutu they use this dals but uh, they uh, don't use those kutu usually uh, the kids will uh, eat uh, tomato rice with uh, pickles in the
uh, schools like that that is not uh, good for health uh, brain will not uh, get uh, the required amount of protein nutrients brain growth will get affected and uh, children will become mad so to avoid that this uh, soya bindi porel is made chinese use this type of soya soya sauce so uh, this soya is uh, made from beans and uh, that is uh, available in china so soya bindi is very useful in helping the building the children's brain and also protein rich porel uh, is obtained this is the soya bindi usefulness the other advantage of this thing is it is easy to cook like uh, frying uh, it is it can be cooked easily that's all uh, cooking uh, some kattasa um chitranangal yes like uh, soya bindi cooking is easy and uh, it is uh, also useful in building good uh, health next is i'll see about the kesari in a pan you take the ghee for one tumbler two spoons of ghee are taken and in that the raisins and mundri parpu are fried and it is taken in outside then one tumbler of <coughs> suji or rava is fried in the pan for one tumbler two and a half tumblers of water is added already it is fried uh, rava so you can use it as it is two and a half tumblers of water is added in that kesari powder is added the main advantage is uh, this is easy to make in uh, ramayan there is one story called uh, kesari it is uh, hanuman's father he cheated uh, anjana devi hanuman's mother by changing into human being uh, so this type of uh, sweet is done in uh, marriage reception uh, before marriage uh, they used to meet and discuss about matters and in that time uh, they used to prepare this type of stuff and uh, we bride and groom will get attracted by kesari and anjana devi and get married so this is the secret of 
this dish you add uh, one cup of sugar and it is cooked if uh, you the water is not there half cup is added after it is cooked the fried uh, cashew and raisins are mixed with the kesari there is a saying that uh, this is uh, not a sweet or uh, it is not a uh, it will light up because it is having both uh, like upma and also a sweet in taste so this is used whenever uh, you require uh, instant usage if you want to prepare instantly you can prepare and use it very easily this is the secret of kesari dish it can be used for all purposes in marriage and reception also you can use this kesari <laughs>